Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another pick a card reading. In this pick a card reading, we're going to be figuring out who's spying on you and why. But before we go ahead and hop right in, I just want to say welcome to my channel. My name is Jess and I do offer $10 private readings for those of you that are interested. All that info will be down below, but let's get started. I have prepared four groups for you guys, starting with pile one, two, three, and four, and let's get started on one. Hey group one, welcome to your reading, and let's go ahead and see who is spying on you and why. So we have the five of pentacles as well as divine descent. Interesting. So group one, who is spying on you? I feel like it's someone you have rejected, okay? Someone you have walked away, distanced yourself from in any type of way here, okay? This person's feeling it. This person is feeling you detach from them. So they're spying on you just to see what you're doing, how you're doing, etc. here, okay? And this person kind of feels like you would be um, a revival. You would be able to revive them if you just talk to them again or just how things were back then when you guys were cool, what have you here. But for the most part, I am getting a rejection and you could be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn here, okay? With the Five of Pentacles, this person could be um, going through a hard time financially and if not material-wise, then just something, you know, more inner, more deeper within them that is feeling off. So they're kind of needing other people to help them, okay? To help revive them in some type of way. This person could be going through withdrawals, what have you. And with this Five of Pentacles, there's like the sun in the back. So I feel like, you know, I feel like this person is just kind of being woe is me because the sense that I'm getting with this card is that they are blessed they do have a lot but the thing is is that there's just something within them that's not letting them see it for some reason right now okay so this person could be going through a learning process i am getting it's an earth sign female but with divine descent i feel like they're just seeing you happy they're seeing you doing your thing you could probably be um talking to other options or just hanging out with your friends going to parties what have you here and they can't stand to see you happy okay like the five of pentacles is like facing the other card so they are just seeing how you are doing so let's go ahead and pull some more cards okay so let's see what else wants to come out for you guys who this person is why are they spying on you so we have journey so I'm guessing that this is you guys right here. You guys are on a new path. You guys are on a new journey. And with both these cards, these females here are just very, very optimistic, okay? They're quite happy with what they're dealing with right now or what you guys are dealing with. But I'm getting this is female on female here, okay? We have a strong Leo with angel of strength at the bottom of the deck but you could be moving from them you could be you know taking up different opportunities than you know things that you guys have planned together or the same ideals that you guys had shared together i'm seeing that your view is changing and that you're much happier okay and they really are feeling left out in the cold by you okay with journey this is card number two so they are seeing that um you have made a decision and that you are and that you are making better choices in life okay because with the five of pentacles nobody wants to be in this state right it's loss it's feeling sad it's depression it's just you know financially you're drained as well and i'm just seeing you here with journey kind of just being in a lot more better place okay so let's pull some more cards okay let's see let's see so we have poise in the reverse okay so with poise in the reverse this this talks about low confidence faking it till you make it here so this person definitely does have low self-esteem here this person is not very secure within themselves and you are probably the one group one to give them you know that boost you know so i'm not sure if you guys were friends 
and then you just have decided to do go things your own way here okay and if this is you with poised in the reverse there could have been something that you did group one that you were in the wrong here okay and um, they're really feeling it, okay? So just however this resonates for you guys. Um, we have imagine in the reverse. So I feel like both of you guys or one of you guys is seeing the, you know, the illusions in this connection here where things may have been um, off balance. I'm getting here someone could be coming off of drugs, what have you. Yeah, someone here is not happy. Okay, let's see what else wants to come out. So we have the Page of Swords, yeah, this person is definitely spying. This person is definitely spying on you to check up on you, see how you're doing. They could even be uh, wanting to message you also, or they are going to message you, whether this be through text or through like social media, kind of just sending you an emoji or responding to a picture, what have you here. The Ace of Pentacles, so this person, may have helped you in some type of way this person could have given you a job this person could have given you some financial su support of some sorts here that i'm seeing but they could be wanting to talk about you know rebuilding something solid with you here or why they're spying on you is because with the ace of pentacles um you are starting a new journey that is focused on your stability in life making more money here and with the page of swords like i said you could have cut them out okay we have the empress in the reverse so with the empress in the reverse i'm getting here that you could be withholding their uh, your affection from them in some type of way we do have a mother figure here showing up in the reverse that could be spying on you or there is a libra or a taurus here who is spying on you okay but they definitely do see you doing your own thing okay they see you making a lot of money as well the king of cups so we have a cancer pisces scorpio that could be spying on you as well with the king of cups here this person is definitely trying to hold back their emotions from you and i feel like they're trying to move on okay the eight of wands so yeah they see you traveling they see you getting over this situation really fast okay with the eight of wands um again they could see you traveling or just uh, but for the most part group one i'm getting here that you kind of just felt free <laughs> as soon as you left this person okay something to do with fast money okay or there's a new beginning here that you are starting group one that is happening really fast for you okay we have the four of pentacles in the reverse so i feel like there are people around you who are just trying to hold back from you they're not trying to show you everything like how they feel what they truly think of you here with the four of pentacles the ace of cups in the reverse so i'm getting here that this person has low self-esteem issues like i said the ace of cups reverse to me is um a lack of self-love also with the ace of cups in the reverse this does talk about an offer being rejected here an offer of some type of emotional renewal therefore with the four of pentacles this person is kind of hiding or this could be you just holding back from these offers here just more m focused on your money we have the two of swords in the reverse so you're kind of coming out of getting stuck you see exactly for how things are in this eight of wands again yes you are creating new stuff um there could be a cancer pisces scorpio who is also going to message you okay but nonetheless group one these people are spying on you because they see you doing better without them and that you are making fast changes in your life okay and they kind of just have to watch okay so group one that is all i have for you thank you so much for watching and we're gonna move on to group two now okay hello group two we made it welcome to your reading so let's go ahead and see who is spying on you and why so we have the two of cups as well as great souls okay so 
for a lot of you, group two, this is someone that you are equally attracted to, okay? Or this is someone who you just may have made amends with, made up, and you guys, you know, are just on good terms here. Um, but I'm getting here the feeling is mutual. So if you guys are also in a relationship, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your husband, your wife is spying on you, okay? And why they're spying on you is because you are a great soul, okay? Great souls, great souls. Um, some of you may play an instrument as well, but I'm getting with this group, even if you're in a relationship or not, there's something that you do. I feel like you guys are very creative. I feel like you guys kind of just, you know, have a, an aura to you, okay? That is very creative and that people kind of just want to follow or I feel like you inspire people as well. This person may have um, noticed that you are someone very genuine you are someone very caring and that you just let your um, emotions speak, but not in a negative way, okay? Because we are emotionally driven creatures, um, but you express it in a healthy way here. So I feel like this person is very captivated by you, okay? And your arts, whatever you do here, okay? And they just have came to notice that you are a great soul. If you know you're not in a relationship then i feel like you know whoever you are crushing on um what have you here this person is spying on you because they like you <laughs> okay so let's go ahead and pull some more cards so yes with great souls they see you as someone very rare okay so i'm getting for some of you you guys could have um red curly hair like the done creative oh my god i love her hair um but let's see what else wants to come out so we have financial constraints in the reverse so this person why they are spying on you is because you have found yourself okay if you guys are flexing on the gram flexing online or just if you've seen this person in person um they see you as quite wealthy okay um, so they definitely see you growing up, they're seeing you love yourself, they're seeing you in a very positive light group one, and you have awoken their, um, heart chakra, okay? You have awoken their something in them that's really just, I like this person, like I want them to be mine in some type of way, okay? So I'm getting here, there could be a strong cancer, a strong cancer I am getting here. And this person with the two of cups to the financial constraints reversed, you definitely fill up their cup. Okay, group two, you definitely do. And you make them feel like they're, they are seen, they are heard, they are taken care of here, okay? Milk and honey in the reverse. I feel like you guys, um, why they are spying on you is because they could see you getting out of um, a period where you may have been stuck in your life kind of just letting things pass by but i see you guys now just making moves in some type of way your financial situation's getting better things are getting better here but this person definitely feels like you could help them get unstuck feels like you are able to um change them in some type of way we had here and now at the bottom of the deck so it was in the reverse so I feel like you are definitely on this person's mind. You are definitely um, kind of giving them anxiety a little bit to where, you know, they're thinking about the future. They think, you know, they're not here in the present. You know, with milk and honey and financial constraints reversed, this is, this is really great, okay? So they see you, they probably like your scent if you guys have met with each other. They like the way that you smell. They like the way that you dress, the way that you take care of yourself here. Okay, let's see what else wants to come out. This is pretty sweet, okay, this is sweet. We have death in the reverse, so you could be dealing with a Scorpio. I'm seeing a lot of animals here too, so you guys could probably have a connection that's very intuitive. You guys know what you are feeling, or even if you guys have not discussed that or witnessed that, that's what they get from you, okay? death reversed um i feel like they are having a hard time changing okay but they definitely do have very much sexual desires about you 
Um, I don't know if you're in a relationship and this is someone who is crushing on you so they can be spying on you because they want this connection to end. Let's see what else wants to come out. So we have the page of wands in the reverse. So you may have rejected some type of um, love offer from them. I'm getting mainly a one night stand. Okay. And um, they're spying on you because probably you're not wanting to take things to the next level here is what I'm getting. Um, or if not, with the page of wands in the reverse, this just lets me know that you are not immature. You are not childish with them. The Five of Swords reversed, you're not looking for a fight, you're not looking to one-up another person. We do have the Two of Cups upright, so you are someone very compassionate, very understanding to this person, and you, like I said, you make this person feel like they are somebody, okay? We have the Three of Pentacles, so they're spying on you because you're different, okay? Out of all these three people, they definitely do see you as the one, they see you as someone who bring something different to the table as well you know the two of cups to the three of pentacles you're able to work with this person okay you're able to um see different solutions just to get everybody on the same page here okay they could be watching your social media as well with the three of pentacles and this could be somebody from your work or again somebody on social media here this could be somebody in a friend group or at school we have the ten of wands so they see you as a hard worker the three of pentacles with the ten of wands they definitely do see you as a hard worker they kind of see you as just a very a person who could be a very supportive and great partner to them And also with the Ten of Wands, they're carrying a burden, okay? They feel like they are carrying the whole load here, and they're kind of just spying on you to see, you know, if you're dropping any kind of hints or what have you here. This could be a Sagittarius um, Scorpio. We have the Knight of Wands in the reverse. So again, this could be a Sagittarius. But with the Knight of Wands in the reverse, this person may have came in quite reckless with you, okay? We have the Nine of Swords. They are definitely in their heads. They are definitely in their heads about you, Group 2, okay? They have a lot of emotions for you. They're watching you. They're spying on you here. And they're kind of just trying to walk away now. They're kind of just trying not to push the boat anymore with you here is what I'm seeing. We have the two of wands reversed. Yeah, they're not feeling super optimistic about this anymore. Um, they feel stuck, okay? And we have the king of wands in the reverse, so they are unable to um, really find the courage within themselves to move on optimistically, okay? They feel blocked, they feel stuck, they feel like they're carrying all of this and they're kind of just watching you be in love with somebody else or just filling up your own cup and doing good, okay? So group two, leave a, leave a little rose emoji if you guys made it this far, okay? So that is all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and we're gonna move on to group three. Okay, hello group three, we made it. So let's go ahead and see who is spying on you and why. Okay, so yeah, there's somebody definitely spying on you. We have the three of pentacles as well as the burning fire. So right off the bat, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and I feel like they have fire in their chart. Um, but this is someone who, you know, you could work with, you could go to school with, and if not, this is just someone 
who is spying on your social media. I'm not sure if you guys are following each other or not here, okay? But they're wanting to see what you're doing. They're wanting to see what you are working on. And with this three of pentacles, this guy has his back turned and there's people creeping on the corner looking at him. So I feel like you may have turned your back on this person. You may just be wanting to be single right now or you're just very independent right now or just focusing and working on yourself, working on things at school, what have you here. And you may have made things very clear with this person, but you still may be trying to work with them or you guys are still following each other on social media, what have you here, okay? So with the Three of Pentacles, they want to work with you. I feel like they want to get on the same page, the same level as you here, okay? But definitely, group three, this person is lusting after you, okay? They are watching what you are doing, they are watching your stories, or if not, they're just watching you in some type of way, okay? And I feel like there are multiple people that are spying on you, there's three people right here, okay? And I feel like you're just off doing your own thing, off working on yourself, working on your crafts here, okay? Okay, so let's see what else wants to come out for you guys. We'll pull this one. So we have deceit. Ooh, so group three, I'm not sure if you were the one that caused this deceit. You know, maybe your best character did not come out. So they're trying to see what you are doing now, how you are handling this. Um, what are you building now, okay? And if this is them with the deceit, there may have been something that they did that you found out and you're kind of just, you know, back towards them, just focusing on yourself during this time. But there was, and I feel like there still is some things that are being um, kept hidden from you at this time, okay? But with the Three of Pentacles, you guys are different. You guys definitely do bring something different to the table, okay? So you definitely stand out not just to this person but to other people involved okay you guys could definitely be in the arts be in theater what have you here sorry these cards too many of them but let's see let's see we have chaos and conflict Ooh, so deceit in this card this talks about a lot of trouble there could have been a third party situation going on and maybe you know, the other boy or the other girl is kind of just stalking your page. Or maybe, you know, like I said, there are multiple people here. So there could be a third party situation going on and I feel like everyone involved is kind of spying on you. Um, but I'm getting here, someone rocked the boat. Someone here just decided to focus on themselves, try to just make peace with this situation, but it kind of just, you know, it's bothering them is what I'm getting here, okay? And we do have flexible at the bottom of the deck, so like I was saying, you're trying to like be flexible here, you're not really wanting to start any drama, but I do see drama here, I do see that somebody is now coming into their power, not wanting to be in the shadows anymore, okay? I'm also getting that there may be a family member that you owe money to or that they owe money to you that they are spying on you here or they could be wanting to ask you for money while you're doing all the work and they're over here kind of just doing nothing is what I'm getting so be aware of that. We have the five of cups in the reverse. They're seeing you get over this. They're seeing you look at your different options and coming into a place where you're a bit more optimistic okay looking at your other options in life here we have the king of swords so we have a strong aquarius libra gemini here um i feel like this person could be quite pissed at you okay um so group three i feel like there was something that you did okay that like i said your best character did not come out well and that these people were trying to see what you're doing now. This King of Swords is like watching you like a hawk here. And if this is you with the King of Swords, um, I'm seeing here that you are, you have your sword. You are ready to cut out people, but yet you will hear them out. Yet you will try, try to be as fair as you can. 
five of wands reverse what did i say you're trying to step out of conflict you're trying to not cause any drama here okay because there's already a lot going on for everyone three of wands reversed um you guys are not waiting anymore okay you guys are not waiting at all four of cups in the reverse so yeah you have rejected their offer here okay either you have rejected their offer and they're seeing what you're doing or they have rejected you and now they are seeing what you are doing at this time but yeah group three i'm getting here that you are seeing the truth of the situation and you are just not playing anymore okay group three i'm getting this strong like you're not playing anymore or the other person is here okay we have the world card yeah this aquarius libra gemini or you wants this whole situation to end here but with the world card um there is a female in the middle and she you know she's glowing so they could definitely see you very happy and confident glowing at this time kind of just wanting this to end and new things to come in because with the three of pentacles you are working on stuff here and you're feeling pretty good about it okay you're laying a new foundation for yourself at this time and i want to say it's working with the three of pentacles upright and with the king of swords this person may be spying on you or just you know maybe kind of low-key trying to plot against you in some type of way because the king of swords to me could be someone quite mischievous it's like whenever they hit roadblocks they can always find a solution to a problem here but for the most part you are just you're not playing anymore and you could be ending things with this aquarius libra gemini we have the two of swords reversed because you see things exactly for how they are you're not in competition with for them anymore you're not fighting with them you see things exactly for how it is we have the two of wands reversed yeah one person is not on board with the other person here someone feels stuck as well and we have the hermit so with the hermit underneath the or on yeah underneath the four of cups i'm getting here that you are just uninterested okay you are kind of just doing your own thing like i said the hermit she's in a bath she's reading a book so you're taking care of yourself at this time i'm feeling like you are just not going to entertain these people you are not entertained by them also is what i'm getting and um you are withdrawing yourself from this person therefore they're spying on you just to see what you are doing okay but i'm getting here that you have had enough and that you are done you just don't want to take up this offer and just close this out okay clean house so group three that is all i have for you here leave a little crystal ball emoji if you guys made it this far okay for iphone and android thanks group three we're gonna move on to group four okay hello group four we finally made it so let's go ahead and see who was spying on you and why so we have the four of wands as well as grief in the reverse okay so we have an aries leo sagittarius here okay with grief there may have been something that happened between you guys to where one person may have backstabbed the other or just things did not end very well okay but they're spying on you you know because they see you coming out of this they see you kind of just letting the fire burn and just smoke out and kind of just you know ending this chapter here okay the four of wands talks about meeting a goal it talks about you know people coming together and just um being happy here so why they are spying on you is because you're not staying stuck in grief if anything you're just trying to be happy at this time you're trying to close this out you're trying to um just start something new for yourself um you could be moving to a new home you could be focused on your goals um or just that your appearance group four is i feel like you guys are having a glow up of some sorts here 
is what I'm getting, okay? One part of you has died and now there's something new coming up for you, but you may have left this person in the past. You may have closed things out with them here with the Four of Wands, okay? So Aries, Leo, Sag, let's pull some more cards. So I usually keep all these cards upright, but this came out reversed, so we're just going to leave it here, okay? But I feel like you guys are getting out of this energy. We have Goddess of the Moon, so this person um, definitely has secrets. Um, I feel like this could be a Cancer or a Pisces. Could be a Scorpio too, but strong Cancer Pisces. Um, this person sees you being led by your intuition during this time, okay? This person could also see you as someone who is laying low from them, okay? We have door to romance in the reverse. So you may have rejected a love offer from them in some type of way. Some of you guys are tarot readers with Goddess of the Moon. Um, I want to say listen to your intuition about this person because it is correct. Um, so they could be watching your videos, they could be watching to see what you're doing here, okay? But they definitely see you being guided at this time and starting something new for yourself. Yeah, you are definitely, I'm getting here in group four that you're not starting any drama, even though something bad may have happened. You're kind of just doing some deep inner healing going on here. And they notice that, okay? They see you being more passive with them okay we have thinker so i'm getting a water air sign here okay but with thinker they definitely do see you getting more smart now they definitely do see you making some changes in your life that are going to be um better for you okay you're starting to um do what's right okay something kind of woke you up group four to where you are now listening to your intuition, your mind is getting right at this time and you know, you're getting out of a woe is me attitude in regards to this person or just things that have happened in your life, okay? So they could be spying on you because you are very passive with them and just not really engaged, okay? But yeah, with Thinker, I'm not sure if you guys follow each other on social media or not. But they're kind of just sitting there wondering, like, what are they doing or what do they think of me or, you know, things like that. Or how are they able to do all this, you know. So they're really thinking about you with Thinker. We have the Five of Cups reversed. So they see you getting out of depression. They see you getting out of any regrets, any cups that have been spilled. And they're seeing you look at your other opportunities at this time, okay. We have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, and we have the Four of Wands in the reverse here. So yeah, they're seeing you come into your more authentic self. They're seeing you with the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse too, getting out of situations that are quite boring for you. Maybe, um, you know, you were with this person for a while, but it was quite dysfunctional. Could be a friend, a loved one, family, what have you. So they're seeing you get out of this here. You guys may not be completely ending things with them as well, but I do see someone giving up, okay? We have the Four of Cups. Someone's offer was rejected with the Four of Cups here. Again, the Four of Cups is a very passive card. So they want to see like, why isn't she paying attention to me? Why isn't he? you know doing this or that here and they're really just sitting and thinking and just trying to make sense of you page of pentacles in the reverse yeah there was a connection that was turned down wheel of fortune in the reverse so they're seeing you here um with the wheel of fortune that there are changes going on in your life and this person is spying on you because they could see you just, you know, kind of keeping from them. The Wheel of Fortune in the reverse group four, there may be um, events in your life right now that are not really going the way that you want it to. I feel like you guys are going through changes and dips, but the Wheel of Fortune reverse talks 
you know, luck not being on your side. So they could just kind of see and wondering, you know, they're seeing how you're handling this, okay? And you're not reacting the way that they thought you would, okay? They see you definitely someone who is being very smart and calculated with how you respond to them, how you respond to this in um, this situation and with the High Priestess again just listening to your intuition at this time. We have the Seven of Swords, so there was some type of um, deceit here. Okay, someone may have been lying, someone may have been cheating, stealing information that was not theirs here. The Ace of Wands. Okay, so they definitely do see you changing with the Ace of Wands. They definitely do see you as someone who is um, starting something new, starting something creative in their life here, okay? Let's see what else wants to come out for you guys. Yeah, I'm getting here some of you guys may be getting into a new home or wanting to. We have the Queen of Wands in the reverse, so we have a strong Aries Leo Sagittarius here. Um, they are showing up in the reverse though, so this person could have been jealous. You know, they next paired next to the Seven of Swords, they could have been lying in some type of way. They could have just, you know, just a, not a good combo. We have the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, they are definitely checking to see what you are doing okay and with the seven of swords being upright i feel like this person has done something to you group board to where it has not been exposed yet um so they could still be doing this or or not they're checking to see what you're doing what you're building what new i feel like there's um a something crafty that you are starting or something to do with money here but there may have been something that did not turn out in your favor, group four. And um, it may have something to do with this fire sign. But now they're kind of just seeing you, they're checking up on you to see how you're doing and they see you doing fine. They see you really taking calculated action here, laying low and just building, okay? So group four, that is all I have for you here. Leave a little um, sparkle emoji if you guys made it this far, okay, for Android and iPhone. But that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next pick a card.